Welcome to Woodland, Washington, where John Denver lives above this moose lodge. Sort of. The hat, boots, concert posters, the guitar, and the guy yeah, sitting on it. the couch. But when a, when a 12 string's in tune, it's just, it's really, yeah. it's pretty fantastic. It's either a time machine or reincarnation, but somehow we are in John Denver's studio apartment. There's some people that pulled up at the stoplight. And the son's telling his dad, that's John Denver. I just saw him on the special last night on the TV special. And his dad, no, no, it's not John Denver. <laughs> Dad's right, it's not the late John Denver. It's a guy named Ted. Thank God I'm a country boy. But don't tell those who go to his concerts. They want to believe. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Using somebody's image to, to make a living is, seems not right to some people. Um, but I find most people are very inspired and really glad because they miss John and his music and it brings back a lot of really good memories. And so it's a really good, happy feeling. Recently in Mount Vernon, Ted is joined by none other than Steve Weisberg. From Aspen, Colorado, Mr. Steve Weisberg. Yes, that Steve Weisberg, John Denver's guitarist in his heyday. There's Steve on the Johnny Carson Show. He's played with seven or eight tribute artists since Denver died in 1997. A variation of a stroll down memory lane. John's gone, the music remains. He says Ted stands out. Apparently the audience thinks they all look and sound like John. I don't quite see it. I see it with Ted. A uh, very strong physical resemblance, uncanny. It all happened kind of by accident in 2006. I went to a contest in Laughlin, Nevada. He wasn't trying to look or sound like anybody but Ted. But fellow contestants started calling him Denver. Everybody was giving me a hard time. You gotta do a John Denver song, the way you look and everything. In the color Rocky Mountain High. He did Rocky Mountain High and won the contest. This guy was holding onto his chest, tears going down his face, and he had worked with John. And so he said, you know, you could do this. You could do a tribute and it would be a great thing because a lot of people miss John. Rocky Mountain High. Rocky this ex-truck driver found his destiny. Born and raised in Seattle, he has an almost eerie connection to John Denver's adopted home. Because I was adopted, first time I went to Colorado, because that's where my birth mother's from, I really sensed that that was home. I, I could, you know what I mean? I could feel it in my soul, like, and I, singing that song, it, it just brought up those emotions. The Colorado, Ted says he's not an impersonator. Oh, I do a tribute. I don't try to sound exactly like him because I have my own voice, but I try to get close so that it's a good experience for people. What do you think John himself would think of all this? I think that he'd be honored. You know, I think he would appreciate it.